Sweet, Marvel Avenger, Captain America, Journey to Justice. As war broke out across the world in the 1940s, ruthless forces like Hydra, directed by the villainous Red Skull, Aronim Zola and Baron Zemo, tore through Europe. The world was in need of a hero, someone to stand up and fight for all people, and no one would ever have guessed who that hero would be. In the borough of Brooklyn in the great city of New York City, a young boy named Steve Rogers said, dismayed by the newsreels he would see each week in his local theater. War was engulfing the world and it seemed like no one could stop it. Steve watched as evil swarmed. Though he was small and suffered from asthma, he wanted desperately to help fight for what was right. But the army only saw Steve's size and wouldn't let him join. Steve never gave up, and on his 17th attempt to enlist in the army, he was finally let in. He was surprised to hear that he'll be part of the secret operation called Project Rebirth. The scientists, led by Dr. Erskine, want to create a super soldier. All the candidates were put through intense physical training as well as other tests. Only one of them would receive the treatment to become a super soldier. Dr. Erskine finally chose Steve Rogers for the experiment. It was no more important to Erskine to find someone who cared about right and wrong and the American spirit than to find someone with muscle. Steve drank Erskine's secret formula, was encased in a metal box and then bombarded with the Vita rays. Anyone else would have been scared, but all Steve could think about was finally getting a chance to help those in need. Within seconds, the transformation was complete, where once stood a 45 kilo man, now stood the world's first and only super soldier. Steve wasted no time getting straight to work fighting for freedom across the globe. Nicknamed Captain America by both the army and press, Steve helped to turn the tide of the war. But even Captain America couldn't save the war alone, along with the brave fighting soldier of the world's finest armies. Captain America met other heroes, including his sidekick Bucky Barnes. The two became best friends during the war. Their friendship would last for longer than either of them could ever have imagined. Near the end of the war, Captain America and Bucky tracked Baron Zemo to his family castle. Steve wanted to stop the villain, but Zemo would not stop so easily. Zemo's castle was loaded with deadly defense. But by working together, Steve and Bucky overcome them. Just as they grabbed the fin, Zemo launched a powerful rocket toward New York City. Steve's home was in danger. Thinking fast, Steve jumped onto the rocket, taking him far into the sky and far out to sea. He broke the rocket's wing just in time causing it to fall harmlessly into the freezing ocean below. But the victory came at a price. Steve had fallen into the cold waters as well. He would remain in the icy depth until he was found, many years later, by a group of heroes like him, a group inspired by him, none other than the Avengers. While Captain America would have countless adventures as part of the Avenger, one thing never changed. Behind Captain America's shield, Steve Rogers would always remain just a kid from Brooklyn who always wanted to do the right thing. That's the end.